Hello everybody, my name is Bob, and this is The Long Dark. See, it says right there, The Long Dark. Um, uh, it is, what is, long, what is The Long Dark? Uh, it is kind of the ultimate uh, wilderness survival game. Uh, by wilderness meaning a, a frigid, cold, barren wasteland. Um, I've, I've been playing it a little bit. I um, actually got up to 32 days survived, which is um, uh, pretty good, I think. Uh, you can get, you, if you're careful, you can get up to, you know, 100 days survived or... 200 days survived or whatever, but the, the, the bottom line is you're going to die. And the most ti likely time that you're going to die is when you first start. So, um, sandbox. <coughs> yeah, when you're first starting out, you're, you're weak and vulnerable and you don't have much clothing and you have a real high chance of dying. So, uh, Voyager, that's what we're going to do. And that's sort of the middle uh, experience level between Bilgum, where the animals leave you alone. And a stalker where the animals eat you alive at, at all times. So we're going to go for the middle difficulty level. Uh, Voyager. Confirm. We're going to start at Mystery Lake. Mystery Lake to me is actually a little bit tougher than the next one ever, which is Coastal Highway. I haven't done Pleasant Valley. haven't done Desolation. Well, I actually have been to Desolation Point, so I haven't done Coastal Highway. Or Pleasant Valley, rather. I've, I've done... I actually... My last character died at uh, Coastal Highway. So um, uh, I'm pretty familiar with that. And it's really... In a lot of ways, easier than Mystery Valley. Mystery Valley is pretty tough. Mystery Lake, sorry. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go with a chick because usually they're better luck for me. Most of my guy characters die straight away. The Northern Canadian Wilderness. Here we go. And I can start out at any time. It'd be in the middle of the night in a snowstorm for all I know. It could be anything. Nope. Up in the morning, and it's uh, it's cold, but it's not. Could be worse. Uh, you'll see sticks around. Uh, oh, it's good useful. to gonna be useful to pick them up. Okay, and we're we're near the uh, the lake, mystery lake. Uh, so that's good. Uh, the problem with the lakes and the uh, the seas and stuff is, um, am I creeping? Uh, is um, um if a snowstorm blows up and you're in the middle of the lake or the middle of the sea. The frozen seas. Um, you're going to get snow blind. You won't know which way is home, and you'll freeze to death. All right, so we got pretty lucky on this um, this start because uh, we're starting during the daytime, not during the snowstorm. Although it's plenty cold, uh, and um, uh, not at night, not during a snowstorm, <coughs> etc. And there's the camp office. That's where we're headed. We're going to pick these things up because you can use them for tinder. You can also eat them. Uh, you will freeze to death very quickly. Especially in the beginning when you don't have any kind of good protective clothing. Uh, so, let's start getting towards shelter. Yep, I am starting to freeze to death. Oh boy! Uh, how bad am I? Okay. I'm getting a lot of these cat tail cat tail heads because um uh, they're um uh, very um useful. You can eat them and... Okay, he's, he's freezing. Let's get let's get her ass back in the... back in the house. There's some other cat tail, cat tail heads around here that I can pick up later. Right now I'm just mainly interested in getting inside the house before I freeze to death. Sorry. This is a good place to sort of have uh, as your home base. Uh, starting out in Mystery Lake. There's other places too that are pretty good. Um. Storm Lantern, yes. And Hook. And Line. So I can go fishing. There's little fishing huts out there on the lake. 
Got to be careful, though, because the storm will blow up, and uh, you'll be stuck there and ready to freeze to death. <coughs> well, before, before, we, uh, before we heat up, let's go ahead and do a little salvage here. I'm not using the lantern I just picked up because I'm trying to conserve uh, lantern fuel. Pop that on. Uh, let's go ahead and um, we'll take the um, uh, cotton underwear apart for the cloth so we can uh, repair the um, uh, wool underwear because everything in this game um, everything in this game um, uh, wears out. Uh, your food gets old, you know, your clothes wear out. Uh, so we go ahead and repair this. Uh, with fishing tackle, it'll work. Okay. Energy bar, that's good. Candy bar. Let's see. Do I have a bedroll now? I do. What kind of condition is this bedroll in? Alright, we'll drop that one. Uh, I can break those down for uh, wood. Uh, but that's not really my main objective at the moment. How am I doing for water? It took me forever to uh, begin with to um, uh, to figure out. You can just um, just make uh, water at any stove by mel melting snow. Apparently, you carry snow around with you all the time. Uh, let's go downstairs to do this because I want to. Look around there a little bit more. See anything I missed? Like maybe rifle bullets? Or rifle? Oh, can opener. And herbal tea. Alright, very useful things. Let's start up a fire. I got one piece of cedar firewood. That'll work. Uh, because my experience built making fires is very low now, uh, it's good to start with the uh, cedar firewood if I want to get the fire started. If I start with reclaimed wood, you see the chances just drop down to 50%. 50% so uh, we'll start with the uh, cedar firewood, but we need to go out and get some more as well. <coughs> uh, things like your ability to, to your your skill at, at uh, making fires and. Uh, your skill at repairing things and so on, your skill at crafting things, goes up um, the more you do them. Oh, fuck me. At least didn't consume the, the, the firewood. Come on. Uh, now, how much water should you carry around? Uh, uh, let's throw some reclaimed wood in there. I'm going to just be carrying around about uh, two liters of water uh, to start off with. That should be good for most most situations. But if you get trapped somewhere, then you may get you may get fucked. <laughs> like 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 can happen often uh, in this game. You could get fucked. Uh, so there's no guarantees, but that's a that's a good amount of uh, water that's uh, easy to carry around and and will do you for most circumstances. I uh, need a little more firewood. Uh, once you melt the snow, you also have to boil the water because apparently it's dirty snow. It may be yellow snow, so we have to belt boil the water. Uh, or if you have uh, water pur purification tablets, you can use those. Okay.
If you uh, think uh, things like um, uh, peaches and soup, if you heat them up first, uh, it'll increase the amount amount of warming you get out of it. Uh, so uh, for things like uh, this, uh, it will not only give you calories, uh, 450 calories in this case, it'll also warm you up if it's hot. So we're doing okay for right now. Uh, we're going to need to get some uh, some other things. Hopefully it's not too cold outside. Okay, I'm fully warmed up. I need to get some uh, some uh, cedar firewood going on. I feel naked without my gun. I just went through a playthrough which I you know I had had plenty of guns and stuff. I got have no gun, have no knife. So with the wolf. If the wolves come, they they can uh, they can do a hurt on me, and I don't like that. It's no bueno. Oh, I don't have a fucking hatchet. Okay. All right. Well, we're going for a little walkabout, and hope for the best. One thing about this game, um, um, even if you're not encumbered, your walking speed is just slow as hell. And if you run, that'll wear you out and uh, eventually get to the point where you will just drop on the ice, take, take a little ice nap and die. Uh, so you don't want that. Um, so uh, you have to watch uh, how much you expend your, uh, extend, expend your, uh, um, whatever the hell that is, your in your durability, your um, uh, endurance, uh, because um, um, you can just um, get to the point where you can't can't move and wind up taking a snow nap. And uh, a snow nap here in uh, the world of uh, the long dark tends to be a little fatal. Tends to be a non-survivable situation. There are times though when you kind of, kind of want to just go, "Fuck it, I'm going to take a nap on the ice, say goodbye to it all. Things are too messed up." But um, generally speaking, even though it's utterly futile to continue to thrash around and survive, uh, that is what people tend to do. Uh, you know, uh, is thrash around and survive until they can't do it anymore. Uh, and that's what this game is about, really. <laughs> I know that sounds a little bit. A little bit depressing, but um, that's sort of what this game is about. Delaying the inevitable. Delaying your inevitable death. Because it is inevitable. You, you could probably, you know, without any kind of tremendous difficulty, have a game that lasts for, uh, you know, 400 days or something like that. But eventually, you'll run out of, you know, raw materials and you'll die. Now, you would think you would have the door in the front. Okay. Oh gosh, mm. can of dog food. Okay. <laughs> She's like, yeah, great. I'm gonna uh, see how am I doing for uh, matches. Not that great. Yeah, I like this long enough to uh, take a quick look under the beds and stuff. I think there's something here. Player, that can come in handy. Beef jerky. I think I can use this. Nothing in that crate. I just 
spark it up for a second. Check under the bed. Your odds of dying in the beginning, uh, in the early going, uh, is um, very high because um, uh, you don't have you don't have shit basically. Like I don't have a hatchet, I don't have a knife to to fend off the wolves with. Uh, so I'm 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 like a tender morsel. I'm a tender morsel mo morsel of plump deliciousness waiting to be eaten by something. Oh, in addition to the wolves, there are also bears. Pick up sticks. Uh, you get out on ice. It doesn't look like that, that far across. If you get on that ice, though, uh, in the middle of a snowstorm, you won't be able to see your hand in front of your face or anything else. Desperate for a knife or a hatchet or both. Oh, poor guy. I take your soda. Shit. Okay, for a firewood. I'm gonna try. I don't know how how successful I'm gonna be at that, but I'm gonna try to save the uh, fur firewood because you can use it to repair things like your knife, which I don't have, and or my and your hatchet, which I don't have either. So, but it, you know, when I get those things, I will need the fur, the fur firewood to uh, repair that. So. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, to leave that. And nothing in there. Oh, fire log. That's very excellent. <coughs> fire logs um, catch on quickly, uh, or catch on well, and they... Uh, um, um, also burn a long time, so. Unfortunately, fire logs don't grow on trees, so we've got to, uh, oh, five hours of daylight, okay. Um, so you, you know, it's just one of those things you pick up, like a soda. So, grape sodas don't grow on trees, so you have to just pick them up where you can find them and, you know, and make do when you can. Those fishing, fishing huts out there, you can, you can actually fish from them, uh, but uh, fishing for your dinner can be kind of, kind of, uh, a cat, uh, sort of a, um, ca a tricky thing. Uh, sometimes you just catch small fish that you know don't don't even repair you for the amount of time that you uh, that you spent trying to catch them. Sometimes you get like a big old salmon or something. So it just all depends. Uh, tomato soup. That's another thing that you can uh, heat up and get a bonus uh, for your uh, your um, uh, your body's temperature. Um, if you're cold, real cold, or like you're sheltering from a, uh, a, 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 a snowstorm, uh, that can be very handy to have. Well, shit. What I don't have is rifles, hatchets, uh, or knives. That's what I'm not getting here. Alright, I'm going to risk making a run out here to the, the fishing hut. Probably as long as the wind doesn't pick up, it's probably be okay. But uh, the wind picks up and it starts, you know, blowing sideways, you can get stuck out here. And in which case, I would probably die. I'm gonna leave that firewood uh, and the plug, the tinder plug. I'll take that line. Ooh, rifle round, huh? Yeah, I don't have a rifle. Sewing kit. Okay, that's handy. I don't know. Not being useful. 
All right, so we're going to try to bolt for the uh, for home base. Across the frozen lake. So yeah, that could be that could be treacherous. Okay, we're heading in for home base. Um, where you get stuff and uh, whether you can get stuff at all is totally random. Uh, so, uh, Princess, you know, probably could have gotten. <sighs> I oh, know you're sleeping. Um, uh, probably could have gotten a rifle here at this thing if, if the the numbers had come up right. But what you get w where is like totally random. Um, well, there, there there's only certain places where things like rifles will come up, and things like clothing will almost always cl come up, and things like drawers and so forth. But you know, for the most part, what you got to start off with is kind of random. So uh, so each time it's a little bit different. Okay, and something I think I didn't get last time. First aid kit. Alright, that's useful. Alright, time to... Oh, time to eat. I'm starving here. Uh, we'll go ahead and eat these sar uh, sardines, because uh, unlike real sardines, these don't keep very well. I actually got food poisoning from one of these uh, uh, sardines in the game. Okay, full and slaked, but very tired. Okay. Uh, I need to go ahead and do a little, little uh, repair uh, on stuff if I can. No, I probably can't do it on some of this. Okay, I can repair that. Some stuff you need a repair kit. Which I don't have. Uh, let's see, what else can we do here? That's okay. Uh, let's see. Take a look at my clothing. Oh, first we need to wear that. Okay, my socks are bad off, so let's go ahead and repair those. Okay, there we go. Thank you very much. All right. Are you hear that outside? What that is is a snowstorm blowing up, which means you don't want to go outside, particularly if it's nighttime or about to be nighttime. I'm gonna need, yeah, I need cured lever for that. Lantern oil, do I? Nope. <sighs> yeah, I know you're sleepy. Okay, well, it's yeah, less than an hour to date to uh, daylight, so I'm going to crash out. Oh, first of all, making sure that we've got uh, enough water in our system. Uh, we need to get some water. Otherwise, you'll you'll wake up severely dehydrated. We'll drink a soda. And drizzle. Okay, we're good. And apparently nights are about 12 hours around these parts, so, um, uh, or longer. Um, so, you know, like I've got three hours of, uh, of, of night time left. Let's go ahead and, uh, chug another soda. Still thirsty? Uh, let's chug some water. out for another three hours. Not much to do in the dark. I 
Yeah, it's too dark. Paper matches, okay. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, very often there's a dead guy right there, but uh, he's not there now. That's that's another evidence of the fact that things are kind of random. You, you, you get what you get, and sometimes what you get is maybe not enough to survive on. Okay, cut down head, cedar. Let's, let's go with reclaimed wood if we can. Okay. I'll go with the fire log. And accelerant. Ah, we're playing wood. Cook up a little water. It. So we get some sort of horrible disease. back there. Alright, we're going to be a little gutsy uh, for our next move because clearly there's not a whole lot to be had around here and we need things like a hatchet. We need like things like a gun. Uh, anything like a knife. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go for um, a place I know about uh, that's pretty well stocked typically. Um, but um, a fucking wolf. I don't have any kind of guns or anything, so... Or even knives. Which is one thing that's kind of unrealistic. You, know, you would think that, uh, that you would be able to, you know, fashion a club or some shit, you know. <laughs> 